Hey there, my name is Daisy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna make a different video. Um, I know my channel has been dead. Just like my soul, anyways. <laughs> yeah, normally I don't make this type of videos, uh, but I, I, I just had to give my opinion on this thing that is called Five Nights at Freddy's, the FNAF fandom, um, including Scott Calvin, because clearly I like it a lot. <laughs> I really do. I'm not being sarcastic. I genuinely love FNAF. Um, it's... An amazing franchise. Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, he is one of the per the people that I respect the most uh, because of what he managed to create by himself. Of course, right now he has a lot of people helping him out, but he started out by himself. The those three, four games, the 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 starting games, they were all made by just one man, just Scott Cawthon by himself. Which for me, that's that's insane. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? I have been in this fandom since I was 15 years old. Right now, I am 20 years old. I'm almost 21. And, you know, I've been here for a hot minute. I, you know, I've been following FNAF for a bit, you know, for a long time at this point. Uh, almost six years. Um, so it's... Yeah, I really, I really like FNAF, generally enjoy it a lot. But there was a situation. Someone um, recently, in this past few days, this past weekend mostly actually, um, someone just found out that, you know, Scott Cawthon uh, has donated to some very, very shady politicians. Um, and of course the people had an opinion and they had to share it. Um, great. It all started in Twitter because Twitter is the shithole it is, so everything just starts there. So, yeah, this is going great, right? <laughs> and of course people had a lot to say about this because I get it, these politicians are trash. I do not condone anything that I ever had said or will do or have done, whatever. I don't like them, period. I don't like Trump. Generally don't like him. I don't know how he even got to be the president of America. I'm generally confused. I feel like everybody was very confused with that situation. Understandable, have a nice day. But let me tell you this. I'm not American, so I don't care. <laughs> but, you know, America is a very big country and it does kind of control the rest of the world, unfortunately. So I need to pay attention to their politics for my own good. <laughs> Trump is not a good person. Everybody knows this. And of course, Twitter, the internet had an opinion on it, uh, as they always have, because welcome to the internet. Everybody has an opinion, period. <laughs> and because of this, a lot of attacking happened, you know, uh, people defending Scott, people going against Scott, people being the middle of all of it, um, and just genuine bad shit. But you, what do you expect from Twitter? I don't expect nothing from that fucking social media platform because that is the most trash platform out there. I said what I said. And when I, I actually saw this, when people were talking about this, and, oh, Trump is a, a, they were saying, oh, Scott is a Trump supporter and I don't like him because of this, because of that. I didn't even interact with it because I was like, okay, people will forget about this. Uh, politics has nothing to do with FNAF in the first place, so who is going to care about this? But I forgot that this is the internet, <laughs> so people will care. And be fucking dumb. Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't look up, didn't look into it because I was like, I know I'm gonna see toxic things. I'm gonna see bad things and I really don't want that in my life. Thank you. I will take that bad energy and put it in the trash. Thank you. First of all, politics has nothing to do with FNAF. So why would I care about what Scott uh, political views are? I don't care. That is pers that is, is personal information. I've heard people saying, oh, uh, but when you support those kind of things, uh, you know, that information is public information. It's only public if you search for it, honey. I didn't search for it, so I didn't know. Uh, so, why'd you have to go and search for it? Clearly, you wanted this to happen. But because of this, people had a lot to say. And, of course, death threats were sent to not only Scott Calvin, but also people in the fandom that have nothing to do with this. But, um, you know, because they said they don't agree with Scott, they also had, like, death threats. Uh, which is dumb. People send death threats in the inter internet. Clearly, they don't fucking have a life. They don't have anything else to do, so they just decide to send hate because they're bored, be because they're dumb, and clearly because they think that they that won't affect, uh, uh, like, a someone. But it will. Surprise, surprise. You know, if someone tells you, I'm gonna kill you, you, you know. That's kind of scary. <laughs> so, you know, Scott just went on Reddit, and he made a statement that, if you don't like him, leave. If you like him, you can stay. You're free to stay. You're free to like him still. Um, a lot of people didn't like that. That attitude shit he had towards the fandom. But what the fuck are you supposed to do when the entire internet is saying that they will kill you? Do you expect him to be like, I love my fandom so much. 
oh my god, I'm gonna stay here and stay be like gonna still be very good friends with the fandom and I'm gonna stay uh, very interactive with the fan. No, this man is scared, which is completely understandable when someone is threatening you, not only you, but also your family. Because guess what? His family also got threatened. I hate the internet so much. Oh my god. So yeah, he said that that post on Reddit would probably be his last post ever there. Uh, so I was like, oh my god, great, the internet did it again. Yeah, and today, I logged in into, you know, the Twitters. Why do I do it? I have no clue. But I did that, and then I found out that Scott Calthon is officially retired, and he made a statement on his... Um, beautiful website that I'm always consulting because of the theories, of course, uh, that is scottgames.com and uh, he posted that, oh, he's gonna leave because he has a family to take care of and someone is threatening him and his family and he has kids, uh, he has like a newborn also, uh, so he has six kids, all right, he has a family to take care of and someone is threatening him, him uh, and, and his life and he said, no, I, I'm not doing this anymore, I don't want to do this. I'm gonna care about my family because they are the most important thing to me right now. So yeah, he thanked everybody. He thanked um, everything that happened to him in the past seven years. He said, guys, I am very thankful for, for everything that happened so far to, in my life. Um, but right now I'm gonna have to leave because my family is what really matters right now. Nothing else. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree with his decision. FNAF like FNAF changed his life FNAF changed a lot of people's life um but right now he's being threatened uh and like he said he has a family to take care of he decided to not risk it um also there were some dumbasses that decided to leak where he lives and so he is now terrified that people might pop up in his house and try to kill him and his family uh of course if, if you had that happening to you, would you still stay in the internet and be friendly with everybody? No, you wouldn't do that. You would leave and not interact with it at all. And this all happened because of politics. Let me explain this to you. When it comes to content creators, like uh, creators in general, you know, music, game developers in this case, of course, uh, whatever, YouTubers, whatever, you, you want to name it. I couldn't give two shits <laughs> about... What are their political views? I don't care. I'm there for the things they create. That's it. The dumbest shit you can do is pick up something creative and then put politics in the table together with it. That's the dumbest thing you can do. And it fucking shows. <laughs> That's exactly what happened here. Y'all decided to mix up FNAF that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with politics and mix them together. Why would you do that? Uh, because of this, Scott retired, the Phantom's dead, thank you very much, y'all ruined everything once again. My final say in this thing is, I'm gonna still support Scott. Like I said, I don't care about his political views. Why would I care? That is his personal information, that is his personal... That's personal shit, why would I care about it? I'm here for FNAF, a game, something that doesn't even fucking exist, it's a game, bro. I'm only here for the games and the games only, for the, for the lore, the games, the fandom. That's it. I don't care about his personal life, whatever he has to say about politics. I really couldn't give two shits about it. And why would I do that in the first place? Because I know it will ruin it for me. And I don't, I don't do that. That's why when I first saw this thing pop up on Twitter, I didn't interact with it. I didn't search it up because I didn't want it, it to be ruined or, you know, I really don't care. <laughs> All I have to say is thank you, Scott, for everything that you've done until now. Generally thankful to you um because of FNAF I've learned a lot of things because you know I do follow a lot of um theory channels mainly game theory but I follow more channels that talk about uh, FNAF and because of that I learned so many things even about programming stuff like that is super that's like super interesting to me because I'm a nerd <laughs> so I like that kind of stuff and you know FNAF just it's perfect for that <laughs> yeah so uh, generally, uh, generally very thankful for everything that Scott has done until now and everything that he has created. Um, I don't regret being in this fandom. I'm not gonna leave the fandom. I'm not gonna, you know, just execute 
if you will, Scott, because he doesn't deserve it. He has done a lot of good things and he has never been a bad person online. We don't have proof that he has a bad person in the first place, all right? Um, he has uh, done so many things. Um, and he was never poli political online, ever. He never tickled into that, as he should. Because <laughs> uh, that's his personal opinion, personal information that shouldn't be brought to public because it's personal. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop liking FNAF because of it. I'm not gonna start stop uh, liking Scott because of this. I don't care. I love his games. I love everything that he has done until now. And I'm gonna keep on respecting him. My respect for him has not disappeared whatsoever. Um, so there's that. Scott, I'm on your side. Um, yeah. And I respect his decision to retire. Even though, yes, this saddened me. Because I really, really respect him. But I respect him. Therefore, I'm gonna have to respect this decision she has taken. And clearly, it's the best one he, he would have done, honestly. I don't think it would have been a good idea for him to just stay here. So, um, Scott, I hope that you are happy with your family. I hope that you're safe, like mostly safe, because there's dumbass people online that are dumb. Welcome to the internet, honey. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just hope that you're fine, uh, safe. And I hope that you're happy from now on. Hopefully we still are, are going to get security breach. Um, I'm really looking forward to that game. I feel like that one's gonna be insane compared to everything else we've seen until now. I'm so hyped for that game. I've been hyping up the game for so long and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna give up on it now. And I really am looking forward to it. Hopefully we still get games and, you know, the movie, hopefully too. Um, hopefully that doesn't disappear because of all this dumbass situation, of course. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Stan Five Nights at Freddy's, Stan Scott Calvin, and um, yeah. I decided to give an opinion online. I wonder how this will be going. Uh, that's all I had to say about this whole situation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. You know, I'm not even gonna say it. Whatever. Guys, see you next video. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna be posting, but I, it's not gonna be long from now. So, um, see you then. Bye.